Which single thing defines the success of your school? The happiness of the children. I think if you have happy children and you have happy staff and then you have happy parents, people are in a very good place to learn. And I think it's been proven that actually the brain reacts really positively if a child is happy and therefore they're more um, likely to learn and do well in all aspects of school life. Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite <laughs> and does this matter? I don't think they are. I think what they're paying for is a fantastic education. I think it's sad that um, the way in which the education system is in the UK is that we are a luxury product and people have choice and therefore we are expensive but I don't think they're buying into a social elite, I think they're buying into a very good quality product. What do your people say about you and do you care? <laughs> um, I don't know what people say about me. I, I think you only you wouldn't everybody cares what other people think, but I think I'm it's more important to me what they think about the way in which the school is run rather than about me personally. What keeps you awake at night? Fire. As a head, the one thing I feel that you can't control is what if fire broke out in a school and that's the one thing that I really do worry about and which is why we have um, fire drills quite a lot. How do you react to wealthy parents offering donations to, to the development fund for the child, their children who have enrolled in school? I would always accept donations to the school um, if they're given in the right spirit and I think if a parent was coming to the school um, and they were signed up and they wanted to make a contribution then obviously we would embrace that as we do have um, a development um, office and, and fund in order to improve our facilities. Um, however, I would always ask questions and, and would, would certainly not take the money without thinking it through. How do you guarantee your people's well-being? Well-being is an umbrella term for all different aspects of a child's um, happiness and health. So we've got the physical aspect, and of course we do so much sport at Winchester House and physical education that um, their physical well-being is well looked after. Um, also health, food is really important, and to ensure that the children are happy with what they've been given, we do um, a food questionnaire. And then thirdly, the sort of the, the mental well-being and mental health. And we're very keen that children talk if they're concerned and they have um, a number of people that they can go to through our circle of support. And one of those things which I think is particularly important is the peer mentoring system where children can go to their peers to talk things through and perhaps resolve any friendship issues that they might be having. The other element that we have is the wellbeing mentor and this is a member of staff whose sole purpose is to ensure that they're around to support children um, who are perhaps having a few difficulties or who just want to talk to somebody completely um, outside the normal um, structure.